Hi guys! For today's episode, we're going to tour you around Bangkok State University. And we are here right now at the PSU grounds for us to provide you and help you tour around the buildings and facilities of Bangkok State University. One fun fact about this is that we have four main gates and we are located at the main gate. Second gate is located in front of the market. Third gate is located at the outpost. And the last gate is located in front, just in front of the entrance of Estrobury Park. And BSU welcomes all the students who want to study here because BSU cares. This is the building of the office in the Outings of the University Register. <laughs> this is where the documents are processed and during enrollment, uh, ito sa building na to, na nangyayari ang mga proseso during the enrollments. And now, let's go to the attic. We will now be approaching the admin building uh, consisting the offices of the higher ranks, uh, the president, the vice president of the academic affairs and other um, offices within the BSC. The Bangkok State University Admin Office, Admin Building, consists of the Cashering Office, as well as the Funky in here, as we approach, is the office of the president. This is the office of the school, the BSU president, Dr. Philip Salaam Kornel. The vice president of the office and the vice president of the academic affairs. The vice president of the academic affairs is Dr. Samuel Polito. We have the records covers for the BSU. Sama. <laughs> at the College of Arts and Humanities and College of Arts and Humanities has Bachelor of Arts in Communication, Bachelor of Arts in Filipino Language and Bachelor of Arts in English Language. So come on and let's tour you around the building. Welcome to the College of Arts and Humanities, which is under the supervision of Dr. Muna Sison Kuyper. The college has three departments which are BA in Communication, BA in English Language, and BA in Filipino Language. Mostly, the first floor rooms are being utilized by the three degree programs of CA, while the second and third floor are being utilized by the College of Natural Sciences students such as BS in Biology, BS in Chemistry, and BS in Environmental Science courses. The CNS is under the supervision of Ma'am Elizabeth T. Demogan. Also, 
The class building has a little theater located at the first floor, which is being utilized for plays, programs, seminar, and the likes. We have now approached the first floor, and the first basement of this building of the class College of Home Economics and Technology. Let's go. The College of Home Economics and Technology building, as supervised by Dean Dr. Zhao Zhao Isomaiden, houses a dynamic learning environment for its five undergraduate programs, namely Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management, Bachelor of Science in Nutrition and Dietetics, Bachelor of Science in Entrepreneurship, Bachelor of Science in Food Technology, and Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management. The college building offers a comprehensive space for learning with its 25 shared rooms, including lecture rooms, laboratory rooms, and of course, it won't be a home economic building without the RSBC canteen and of course, Strawberry Hall.
constructed in the late 1920s as an elevated one-story building and original with a back door and stairs stranger will later meet on the flooring and inner walls. So, the building style is American colonial and uh, folk Victorian. This was used as the principal's cottage in the 1920s to 1951. 
it was used also by the superintendent's project from 1951 to 1968. Edgy building, 1968 to 2010. And the lower floor was used as an ROTC building museum, 2011 up to present.